Oh my gosh, welcome back to this totally tubular episode of DBL. That was a clip from the original American Bandstand back in 1982 where you could find our next guest. And you know we can't talk about the 80s without talking about the fashion. So who better to wake us up before we go, go, other than our favorite <laughs> fashion guy and friend of the show, Lauren Sarian. Yeah. 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 Reliving his glory days. <laughs> How you feeling, LZ? Can I, I, all right, let me say this. First of all, great to be with you guys again, number one. Number two, I'm going to brag, and I didn't realize it until decades had passed. I was a part of the original American bandstand. Yes. I saw Madonna, the ghost. I saw them all. It was the coolest moment of my life ever it's and then being a part of dbl yeah. Yeah. thank you thank you yep. for adding that mm -hmm. oh we just want to get your quick take lz on our outfits today how do we do yeah how do we who's best am i best okay you who's said best? okay okay you said the word okay i'm gonna stick in okay i see big shoulder pads i see headbands i see jeff trying to be just like me <laughs> i love the scrunchie i love the cycle i love being bright i know jeff we go all the time you stole my look <laughs> hey that's a good look to steal <laughs> Yeah. Deb, how about Sam? She wants a compliment down there. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for you. Let me see, you. Sam. Okay, let me just tell you something. It is ultimate opulence. It, it screams dynasty. It screams falcon crest. It screams knots landing. I love opulence. But then we got a little punk glam going on right over there. Look, you're right. Come on. Look, you're right. There we go. Bright colors, <laughs> neons. Yeah. Lawrence, I love it. This I think other than Jeff, you guys look amazing. Yeah. Right hey, in. There you go. I'm pulling my best Lawrence I can. So, Lawrence, this is an important question here, okay? Was rock influenced by the 80s or the 80s influenced by rock? Ooh. I'm going to tell you this. The 80s was most definitely influenced by rock. Michael Jackson, David Bowie, Madonna. But also, in the 80s, fashion influenced was television, soap operas, movies. I mean... Pretty in Pink, oh. Dynasty, Dallas, movies, Heathers. Heathers. All those influence the way people dressed. So what celebrity specifically brings you back to that era? I mean, there are so many for me. I'm a huge Madonna fan oh, yeah. because I think she single-handedly took that? fashion. The next is what I call decade blending, something from the 40s, from things from the 60s, bustier dressing, petticoats, more and more and more. And don't forget, the higher the hair, the higher the guy. Ooh, yep. That's right. The closer, closer to God. To God. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and I'm closer, really yeah. close today. <laughs> um, no, okay, Lawrence, you, you want to play a little game? Because I feel like we should play a game. Okay, yes. let's do it. Okay, we're going to talk 80s fashion trend with Lawrence Zarian. We're going to talk about which 80s looks, should they keep that or should they make a comeback? Oh. Let's start with parachute okay. pants. What do you say, Lawrence? Should the 80s keep that or should they make a comeback? Some things are meant to be left where they started. <laughs> okay. Those parachute pants, boy, can't touch this. Don't, don't want it. Good, gone, bye. Okay, keep that 80s. Okay, who remembers those glamour shots oh, yeah. at the mall? Oh, I always yes. wanted one. My mama said we couldn't afford <laughs> it. Glass. Should the 80s keep that or should it make a comeback? Okay, and here's the thing. That's when women had perms and then they teased, and then they blow dried, and then they sprayed. First of all, if you have a glamour shot, hold on to it because it is priceless, number one. Number two, keep that picture in the closet because we don't want to see it again. But <laughs> in full honesty, I did have a perm, and I did spray it high, and I even had my hair pulled out. And that was one of the things uh, that I did not send in. Oh. Uh, see, we need that. We need that. All right, let's talk acid wash denim. Should oh, the like 80s those. keep that or should it make a comeback? Well, look at this. Denim was so in, the, in vogue in the 80s. And so many different types of denim. But that acid wash is so decade specific. Nasty light rinse, medium rinse, dark rinse, and maybe just a touch of acid influence. And as you look at Fashion rights trend, 80s influences are in, but subtle influences. 
Okay, this one I have the answer to, but shoulder pads. Should the 80s keep that or should they make a comeback? I love this movie. Shoulder pads are back and better than ever. used to look like linebackers walking down the street. Mm -hmm. But also, tailored dressing yes. was so on trend. So that's when women, especially with the movie like Working Girl, women to express and exude power. But now women have power and they don't need the pads because they've got it all on their own. Wait a minute, you said we can't bring back shoulder pads because I certainly have brought them back. <laughs> you have Let me just say this, sweetheart. If your shoulder pads are this big, I mean, go from this to this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, tone it down just a little bit. Yeah. Minimize. It's more of a V on the top as yeah. opposed to the sloop. <laughs> Unlike yeah. Tori looking like a linebacker. Like, over yeah. there. Ridiculous. You look like a linebacker. I look like an upside down triangle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lawrence, we love you. We miss you. Come back to studio. So DBL tiny. Nation, make sure you follow Lawrence for daily style and influence on Instagram at Lawrence Arian. And get to know some of your favorite Hollywood stars by checking out his podcast, You Are Beautiful. Thanks again, Lawrence. Looking good. We'll be right back. Yeah, later, buddy. He's amazing.